Hey, I'm Faye. Hello, I'm Fluffy. And we're on a mission to be fabulous. Bring joy, and most importantly, read the house down! I am feeling so ha ha happy to be here today. How about all of you? Yeah! How about you, Faye? Are you feeling happy today? Well, actually, I'm kind of feeling a little bluesy woozy inside. Oh, oh no! no! So I decided to wear my blue wig because it matches my mood, but it's also fierce. It's pretty beautiful. <laughs> It's about my most favorite cousin, Sheila. She's moving to Vancouver, and that means I'm not gonna get a chance to see her every day. I just don't know what I'm gonna do without her. I'm really sorry to hear that, but feeling sad when somebody's leaving is totally okay. Do any of you have people that you don't get to see all the time? My grandma lives far away. My yeah. grandma and grandpa live in India, and that's so far away. That is really far is. away. My friends live far away. How do you tell those people that you miss that you love them? I call them or they call me. I FaceTime them. See, Faye, there's lots of different ways that we can keep in touch with people. And just because Cousin Sheila's moving away, it doesn't mean that you can't still keep in touch. Isn't that right? Yeah! I should be more excited for Sheila. She's getting to fulfill her dreams of being a circus clown. Are there any ways when you're feeling blah, that you like to take care of yourself? I read a book or I watch TV. Yeah, what do you do? I go out for a drive and go and get some of my favorite things to eat and drink. Oh. That's a great I way like to feel these ideas. better. You know what I love? Getting hugs from my best friend. Fluffy, would you mind giving me a hug? I'd love to. Mm. Hugs feel so great. You know what? Maybe we should give ourselves a hug. Oh. <laughs> Those are good, tight, squeezy hugs. Does everyone feel love? Yeah! Wow, thanks, everybody. That felt so good. Hi, my name is Petra, and I'm 10 years old, and this is my little sleepy dog, Ogie. Our family had a pet gerbil named Sunny. She was really great. Last month, Sunny passed away, and it was very sad, and my whole family misses her, but especially me. We found a way to deal with the sadness, huddling my puppy, and we lit a candle, and I put a treat in there to remember Sunny. Welcome. When I'm feeling sad, I like to wear something that makes me feel cozy and warm. Can you help me pick out an outfit that'll chase my blues away? Yes! Wow! Very rodeo chic. But does it look very comfy? No! Hmm, you're probably right. Let's try something else. I mean, it's very out of the box, but it doesn't seem like something I can snuggle in. Should I keep it? No! Ooh. Oh, my pretty soft bear Grumbelina always makes me feel better when I'm sad, and this outfit looks so cozy. What do you think? Yes! Yay! Snuggle party! I'm feeling better already. Are you ready for the Settle Down song? I am. Everybody settle down, how quiet can you be? Shake real fast, shake real slow, stand still as a tree. Now sit right down and gather round, it's story time. We've settled down, now take a look, let's open up this book. 
Today's book is The Homesick Club by Libby Martinez and Rebecca Gibbon. Monica, whispers Hannah, where is Mrs. Jackson? Principal Rivera is standing in front of our class with a lady I've never seen before. Class, this is your new teacher, Miss Shelby. Hannah and I look at each other. New teacher, I whisper. It is so nice to meet you, class, says Miss Shelby. Her voice is soft and slow. Miss Shelby tells us that she's from Texas. She says that this is the first time she's lived in a city full of skyscrapers. Texas is far away. I'm from Bolivia, even farther away. In Bolivia, there are lots of mango trees and green vines. A family of hummingbirds lived in our backyard. My grandmother and I fed them sugar water every morning. Hannah is from far away too. She's from Israel. She says it's always sunny there, not like here when the sun hides all winter. She brought photos to show and tell, pictures of giant sand dunes and a tiny tortoise that lived near her house. My day for show and tell is Friday. I wish I could bring a hummingbird, but I've never seen one here. I think all of the honking and noise probably scares them away. Mrs. Jackson told Miss Shelby that we are learning all about the stars. Miss Shelby tells us about the Big Dipper and Orion the Hunter. Where I lived in Texas, she says, the sky was so big. The sky was big and wide in Bolivia, too. Sometimes I tried to count all of the stars. It's hard to see the stars here because of the tall buildings. I wonder if Miss Shelby misses the stars like I do. After science, we have lunch in the cafeteria. Hannah and I always sit together. We are the homesick club because we miss where we used to live. We made a special sign with a picture of a hummingbird and a tortoise. Mm. Does anyone know what homesick means? When you're sick and you miss your home. Just like when Faye was feeling sad, sometimes if we're homesick, oh, it can make us feel so upset and sick. I miss hearing frogs go croak, croak at night, I say. Hannah laughs. I miss hearing the wind, she says. In the desert, it goes like a whistle. Miss Shelby is standing by herself in the cafeteria. It's hard to be new. On Tuesday, Miss Shelby teaches us about the sun and the moon. My grandmother still lives in Bolivia, but we both see the same moon at night. Some people wish on stars, but I wish on the moon. Last night, I wished for something to take to show and tell on Friday. Maybe we should ask Miss Shelby to be part of our club, I whispered to Hannah at lunch. She is from far away too. Monica, whispers Hannah, Miss Shelby is a teacher. I look at Miss Shelby and then back at Hannah. I'm gonna ask her, I say. I walk over and stand by Miss Shelby. Miss Shelby, would you like to be a part of our club? Miss Shelby smiles and looks over at Hannah and our sign. Can you tell me about the homesick club, she asks. You have to be from far away, I say. I'm from Bolivia and Hannah is from Israel. We talk about things we miss. Do you miss all the things you could see in Texas? Yeah, she said. I miss seeing all of those stars. I would love to join your club, Monica. Miss Shelby sits down at her table and tells us about other things she misses. I miss peach trees, she says. I miss the raccoon that used to peek through my kitchen window at night. And I miss hummingbird cake. Hummingbird cake, I say. <laughs> Don't worry, Monica, she says, laughing softly. <laughs> It's only called hummingbird cake because it is so sweet. Like the flowers that hummingbirds drink from. It's the best cake in the whole wide world. After school on Thursday, my mom and I go to the grocery store on the corner. We buy bananas, pecans, cinnamon, and a can of pineapple. My mom lets me stir all the ingredients in a big bowl. We watch my secret rise in the oven. When it's cool, we spread the thick cream cheese frosting. I brought a hummingbird cake, I say. Some of the kids giggle. But I tell them it's Miss Shelby's favorite cake in the whole wide world. I tell them all about the hummingbirds that my grandfather and I fed in Bolivia. It's hard to move far away, I say. Miss Shelby comes and stands beside me. She closes her eyes and smells the cinnamony sweetness. Home, she says. She blinks and blinks. At lunch, Hannah and I watch Miss Shelby. She's talking with one of the other teachers. She smiles when she sees the new picture that Hannah drew on our sign. Miss Shelby will always be part of the Homesick Club. The end.
So, did you like the story that we read together today? How are you feeling now? I'm feeling a little bit better about everything, and I decided to uh, change my way. Remember, it's okay to feel sad when people that we love leave us. I know I'm gonna be sad, but I know that when I have those feelings, I could just call her up. Well, you know, Faye, I don't know if you know this, but I kind of have a couple of secret circus skills. You ready? Yeah. We love you all so much, and we're so glad that we got to spend today with you. Remember to care. Remember to be kind. And remember to read. See you next time.